The following is a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru. Hi, I'm Gary Ashburn, and I've been working in the world of collectibles and memorabilia for over 30 years. Here at the Collectibles Guru, we only bring you genuine and exclusive memorabilia from the worlds of sport, music, TV and film, heritage, and even more. Every item we bring you will come with a certificate of authenticity. It'll have our name, our address, our phone number. In other words, you can always contact us. And most important, we're a member of Aftel, who are one of the top three autograph trade associations in the world. This means that every collectible item we bring you is guaranteed 100% genuine. So when we say an item is signed, we guarantee it is hand signed and not a printed or a facsimile signature. So if you're looking for a unique, unusual and highly collectible gift for yourself or for someone you love, then this is the place to be. Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Collectibles Guru. My name's Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we have another stack show lined up for you this evening and I might just have, because I'm that kind of guy, a little discount code uh, up my sleeve as well tonight. Uh, it's going to be a great show and actually uh, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, Firstly, a warm welcome. For those of you who've been with us a while, it's going to be a great show tonight because half of the items on the show you will have not seen before. We have got nine premieres coming up for you over the course of the next hour. And a guy who loves a premiere uh, it is the collectibles guru himself, the one and only Gazza, Gary Ashburn. How are you? Hey, good to see you, mate. Nice to yeah. see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to be back, and we good are rare, raring yeah. to go once again. Nine premieres. I think that's got to be some sort of record, that. It is a lot. Yeah, I didn't realise it was quite that many, yeah. but yeah, it's just sometimes it works that way, I suppose. But yeah. we always try to bring you lots of different things. It makes me feel like you've been working hard behind the scenes as well. I the have, fact that I we've never got stopped. loads of new. I had here when I started. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they said in the gallery about you just then? <laughs> so it makes you think you've been working hard and they went, makes a change. Oh, yeah, 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 lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we've got a little bit of everything tonight. We've got uh, we've got some film in there, we've got sport in there, real, mi uh, real mix. Yep, it sure is. And some big names in all the different fields as well. Mm. It re we really have. So you've got to watch this one and uh, don't miss it. There's one or two TV things I think are going to fly. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to uh, shop the show, of course, collect collectiblesguru.com on the website you'll find hundreds of other items that we're not featuring what did we say at last count was it over I think it was over 900 items yeah. now yeah obviously yeah. they come and they go but different ones go on but yeah do check that website regularly www.collectiblesguru.com uh, you can also phone tonight if you see something you like 0800 254 5402 and much to his annoyance we do have a code tonight which i'll share with you in just a bit you love it with a code on don't you oh yeah yeah just <laughs> Going toast for the rest of the month. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's only me they hit, you know. No yeah, one else. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's have a bit of a delve as to uh, what you can be picking up. What we got tonight, Casa? Well, this is great. Only fools and horses. This is a great. These are actually official postage stamps. Capture all the characters. Really is a great, great item. Uh, they're all genuine British postage stamps. As okay, in in order of um, you know, only fools and horses. This one, same idea. This okay. is Star Trek though. Original. These are. Original photographs from the series recreated on official British postage stamps. Framed up, they look fantastic. And again, we have very small stocks of both of them. My old mate, Dave Prowse, good mate, known for many years, not that long ago, passed away. There he is, the original Darth Vader, he mm. was the man. So there it is, great image of Dave Prowse and it's personally signed as you see there. That's his genuine autograph. Then something really, wow. really hard to get, and this is really going to be, I'm not sure this will fly. This is Bruce Willis there. It's a magazine page mounted up, ready to frame, personally signed by Bruce Willis himself. Very, very rare. This is something unique if you're a Liverpool fan. This takes you back to when um, Liverpool won the European Cup in 2005. Jersey Dudek was a goalkeeper, saved two penalties in the shootout. So, and that is a replica shirt, hand signed by the man himself. Then uh, an Everton supporter, not the footballer, but a big Everton <laughs> supporter, fought at the ground. This is Tony Ballou there, winning a belt. It's a 16 by 12 photograph. You see the passion, hand signed by the man himself. 
And then this is, oh, this needs a lot of explaining. This actually carries a replica gold medal that was a replica gold medal on a first day cover, hand signed by Chris Finnegan, who was a, 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 you know, a boxer and won the medal at the Olympics. Ronaldinho, never seen this before. One of the greatest footballers of our mm. era, wasn't he? Never a great, uh, David Seaman wasn't too keen. Cool, <laughs> we'll no. talk about that later. Sorry, Mr. Seaman. But uh, Ronaldinho in Barcelona kit, great Brazilian player, hand signed. Henry Cooper Henry. always takes you back to that magic night, even I was a child then, when uh, he put uh, Muhammad Ali on his backside there at Wembley. Great photograph, all beautifully framed and hand signed by Henry Cooper himself. Then Bobby Charlton, again, always very popular. This is a 12 for 10 image there. You've got the photograph double mounted, as you can see, and then a double mount of the actual autograph underneath. So a great item, and both of those ready to just slip in a frame and hang them on a wall that you love. Well, on the wall that you will love with them on. Exactly right. There you go. Brilliantly explained. Uh, <laughs> and I said a bit of a shock then when you were saying back when I was a kid, I didn't think you were ever a kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, honest. Yeah. Well, and it was all in black and white. All oh, black and white, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meow. Yeah. Uh, now, we've got nine premieres tonight, as I've mentioned. This is the first of those. But yes, I must just tell you that discount code too. So this is a, uh, applicable um, across the show for you uh, this evening. And indeed, you can, you won't want me to tell you this, but you can use this on the website too uh, so anything you fancy collectiblesguru.com that code is september all right that's all you have to type in at checkout for one week only uh, you can use this uh, and get yourself that uh, extra discount um, with 10 percent off so great opportunity to use that save yourself uh, a bit of money this evening uh, on the show and indeed across the website just September at checkout. First item is a premiere 446589. What a great movie. I saw I saw this again um, probably a couple of months back. Forgotten just what a great movie yeah, this it is. is. Great and one of his kind of like um, first starring roles, wasn't it? Yeah, Michael it's Caine? it's one of those as well. All Michael Caine. It's one of the most sought after images of Michael Caine, also mm. Michael Caine as an actor. There's so many roles. He, you know, he's gone across so many genres and done so many different films. But this is one of the most popular ones that you get asked for. And hand signed by the man himself. That's Stanley Baker is with, isn't it? Think the old it famous is, yeah. English actor as well. By the way, if you can't spell September, you can't get the discount. <laughs> 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 the twist is you've got to put a Z in the middle. You know? <laughs> no, I'm winding you up. Take no notice. He's me. not, you though. Know? That's the thing. He says he is. He's not. Yeah, He's yeah. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, but dear. no, it's, it's a really popular movie. Michael Caine, everybody wants Michael Caine. He's now in, in the twilight years, let's say, you know, I mean that in a very lovable mm. way. But he, um, you know, he's, he's a great actor and any, you know, people are always looking for items of Michael Caine. And that is one of the most popular. We have very low stock and once that, that will fly. Once it's gone, I cannot replace it. Yeah, and, and like you said, the great thing is, is, um, you know, Michael Caine, still well up until very recently was, was making movies he's been like a, a yeah. movie star for what 50 60 years and this was one of the, the, the sort of breakout roles for him yeah it was one of those and as I say it's one of those the fans things like this and you know the uh, get Carter yeah get Carter and uh, all those you know they're, mm. they're the ones that people tend to go for most but he's a very talented actor lovely bloke as and well a, a nice accounts. bloke yeah I suppose I met him at a charity do a kind of met him a couple of times but he's all very down to earth because I went to school in the area where he was brought up so oh, he'd be you? quite and he used to go back there and you know help out charities and things locally he was always kept to his roots you know he liked to go and see it because he ran the elephant and castle in that area you know did you say it must have been you because uh there's only one guy i know who has so many showbiz friends were you saying that he <laughs> <laughs> were you saying um does he have does he have a pub or something you were saying? yeah he had a restaurant didn't he yeah in, in mayfair yeah for many many years yeah well a bar and restaurant and he'd pop in now and again yeah he, he, sunday mornings he often used to be there you know yeah. if you go in there a couple of times i've been in there americans used to love going there and he would go in, you know, you go in there, and if he was there, it wasn't unusual for him to buy you a drink and have a chat, mm. you know, come over and talk to you. a really nice guy. Yeah, just very, very, very laid back, yeah. 
Yeah. And and a great actor as well. Yeah, absolutely. But again, really popular in the in the TV film world. He's one of those signatures that everybody wants, you know. Yeah, and, and that again is a, a really, really brilliant image from what is a you know fantastic film uh, with Sir Michael Caine. And like Gaza said, it's a premiere tonight, but we have uh, well just a couple of those uh, any serious film fan or certainly Michael Caine fan will want that. Two hundred and nineteen ninety nine. But if you use that code, uh, code September, S E P T E M B E R, no Z. Yeah. <laughs> you can see in the image, though, he's saying, Did you see that? And you go, What? You know, like he'd written a script for it. Anyway, but he used this information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20, 22 pounds, pretty much, you'll get off uh, if you use that code 446589. That'll obviously affect your clear pay price as well, which will come down further for you. Uh, 55 pounds, though, is the four way split on that. Item number is 446589. 589. What a great way to kick start uh, the show tonight. Uh, and we carry on. Actually, just having a look here, the first five items we are showing you this evening are all premieres, all brand new to the show. Yeah. Um, and um, nice show, actually, if you are a, let's get this right, philatelist. That's right. Yeah. If yeah. you're a stamp collector, in other words. This is something really special. It, it goes across several <coughs> genres. What you've actually got is, this is beautifully framed. It's like an art print, really. Yeah. But all of you, what they actually is, each one of those images is a genuine Great Britain postage stamp. Uh -huh. So these are official postage stamps, which at the time, well, you could have put on your letters and used them. They were genuine postage. But they make them up as like a photographic montage in honour of the series. And, and in this format, they call it a stamp sheet lit. It's more like I call it a print because mm. I don't think that does it justice. So it takes you back to the show. It's very rare. They sold out within a week, these. So very, very hard to get and very desirable. This comes from Benham, who specialises in this sort of item. They put it together in the frame. It looks brilliant. We have only a couple of these, and once they're gone, I haven't got any more. They've sold out. I just look at something different, and any lover of, you know, only four horses would love that, you know. Yeah, I think, well, I think many people are going to want it. Do you know what, actually? Um, my family never really watched Only Fools and Horses, and it's only like over the last sort of three or four years, it's always on, isn't it? Yeah. That I've kind of gone through and watched all the episodes. I mean, one of the funniest uh, programmes oh, of yeah, all time, isn't it? Yeah, and, and what you've actually great about these stamps is they're actual films from the, the TV series recreated onto actual British postage stamps. Right, OK. If you were to be exact, if you stop, see that image in the middle where you've got, you know, uh, David Jason, and Nicholas Lindhurst there with the phones yeah. and the piece next to it, that is actually the complete piece of both of those is what you would have put on your letter. Ah, uh, okay. So one, they call the other one a philatelic label, the one where they're on the phone. But the actual stamp is the image on the side. Yeah. So if you look above, you see you've got the same stamp, but you've got a different image. Uh, a different philatelic uh, okay. label. Yeah. So that's how they describe them. But it's, you know, label, it doesn't do them just. I think they're like a piece of art, you know. They're an only fools and horses piece. Of, that stands, you know, if you've got a pop art collection, you've got a bit of, if you're lucky enough to have a print or whatever, if you've got a real one, really good. Yeah. But, you know, your war roll and all this stuff. This sort of stuff is really popular and galleries are selling it now. Really unusual, really rare and very, very affordable for what it is. Absolutely. And I think, you know, really Real Only Fools aficionados will be able to look at all of these images and probably mm. name the episode there as well. I want to say right. that one there, top, top left, second down, looks like the, uh, the Jolly Boys outing. Yeah, uh, when, the, when the bus exploded. Yeah, it's quite. <laughs> and then you go, oh, Molly, Molly. Molly. up there, look. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and sadly, you know, several of these actors and actresses no longer with us. So it's great to see these. It's like, it is true nostalgia. Mm. That's what one of the wonderful things about collecting. It brings back all those memories. Yeah. I remember when I first saw it, I remember where we were. And that's what it's about. It's, it's just put it on the wall and it puts a smile on your face. And that will put a massive smile on the face of someone you know if they love that program yeah absolutely you, you have to be quick though because there is uh, well, there's actually only one of these available for you so uh, 475161 is your item number 129.99 but you'll save 12.99 if you use that code September that will come off this as uh, so a 10% saving only up until the 23rd so um, do make sure I mean if, if you wait until the 23rd anyway you're not going to get this because someone else will have nabbed it uh, but it's 32 pounds 50 if you are splitting the cost four ways on clear pay again that price will come down 
down further for you if you are uh, using that code this evening. You can do it across the website as well, collectiblesguru.com. Anything you see on the web, you can, uh, of course, use it there too. And next up, we uh, stay in the world of um, stamp collecting, and this is, uh, this is a Star Trek set. Yeah, same idea as the previous one. You see you've got those, uh, the actual images, and the image alongside it is, is a scene from one of the, you know, the, the TV series. Yeah. But you've got all the different characters on the stamps. You, know, you can see there Patrick Stewart, William Shatner, etc. So as you go down, and again, it's stunning. These again are official postage stamps brought out by Great Britain under license from Paramount. So it's officially licensed, endorsed. But what happened with these, with something like this, you've got stamp collectors who want it, and you've got all the Star Trekkies, mm -hmm. all the Trekkies want it, you know, worldwide as well. So these sold out in like days. They've been launched, they're sold out. And the only times you ever see them is this something like this. I mean, these are not brand new. It's like buying an antique. They might, they are actually in excellent condition. There's virtually no marks, but they could have marks because you're buying it as it was issued and put together at mm. the time. It's like buying an antique. That's how you get it. So it won't be in mint, pristine condition, the frame. They are in very, very good condition. But um, I would leave it as it is because that adds to the value because it's, it's, it's as it was produced and as it's sought after for a collector. And any Star Trek fan would adore that. And again, we only have one or two. But it's a brilliant way of remembering and you know, and honouring the series, really. You, as you say, you'll look at that and go, oh, yeah, that's when so-and-so happened. And that's what this are. Yeah, it's nice as well with this particular set. I mean, I, I wasn't, um, I've, I've seen a few of the Star Trek movies and watched a bit of the program, but not, I wouldn't say I'm like a, an aficionado on it, but it's nice that you've obviously got like the different generations and the different series of yeah, stamps, haven't that's you? that's right. Right from yeah. the originals with William Shatner. Yeah, and uh, as you say, yeah, look at it. Yeah, Picard. it's Britain, the next generation there, look. It, it, yeah, Deep Space Nine coming down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, yeah it's a great item, and the images are fantastic. You know, any Star Trek fan would really love that. And as you can see, there's, I said, Royal Mail, which shows you that it's an officially licensed and endorsed product. You'd be kicking yourself if back in the day you had a set of these and you licked them and put them on your letter, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, you would. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. unless you got someone like William Shatner or Patrick <laughs> Collins to sign it, or Patrick Stewart. Well, call him Patrick, Patrick Collins. Collins yeah. Patrick Stewart, yeah. <laughs> be crazy wouldn't it uh, but listen it's a lovely piece once again you have to quick if you want to uh, grab that one uh, 129.99 uh, the item number is 488539 pounds 50 is your four-way split on clear paid but of course again if you're using that code september then you can get an extra 10 percent off just up until the end of the week 488539 Next, we go from Star Trek to Star Wars. <laughs> That's my Darth Vader impression. Yeah. That's about as good as it gets. Well, they, this is a great item. This is a frame, obviously framed and mounted like the two previous items. Yeah. This is a great image of Dave Prowse as Darth Vader, who was the original Darth Vader in the series. And, um, you know, he was, some of you older members of the audience will remember him maybe as the Green, Green Cross, Cross Code, Code Man, Man wasn't he? Yeah. He, was in Wicker, he was in Wicker Man as well. Oh, yeah. was he? A few movies. But he was also a British uh, bodybuilding champion originally. Oh, I didn't know that. It's the shape. Yeah. But I was actually, I was just saying this, I was actually there when he signed this. That the signature yeah. is a cutout from an official first day cover. When I was a director of Stanley Gibbons, this was produced to tie in with a convention in the UK mm. where we worked with them, and that was produced and actually on a first day cover. And Dave signed so many of them, and they did those at his home in Croydon where I, I used to go and visit a cage. I know Dave really well. He's a lovely guy. I've known him and the family for years. Did you know him before, or did you get to know him through your no, work? I knew him before. I, know, I, known him, I knew him about 40 years. Years, you know so yeah we and we live nearby and you know I'd often see him and I'd go to conventions and stuff work with him a lot of the time all the, those original Star Wars guys I mm. knew quite well you know but Dave was the man I knew most and his brother was also a bodybuilder right. and we always joked about him I mean you probably have it many times but he's his broad Bristol accent yes. you know he was upset when they dubbed his voice because it was it, James Earl Jones that's right there, and they always you know what I mean? <laughs> dub my voice you know <laughs> 
Luke, I am he, your father. He, you know, right, right. <laughs> and he went, Luke Skywalker, <laughs> or, you know, go with your lightsaber or something like that, you know. But he was, yeah, he had that true Bristol accent. Yeah. But when he looked like that, he thought, oh, my God. And he always told the story. He reckoned, I don't know if it's true, but he reckoned he had the choice to either be Chewbacca or, Dave, or Darth Vader. Is that right? And he said he chose Darth Vader because he was the key villain in yeah. the series. And also he said, oh, he didn't want to be wrapped up in that big airy suit in the bleating desert. He'd <laughs> hot in that, wouldn't it? You know, so that was one of his lines. But I loved him to bits and he was a great guy and they were really, really sad when he went. Yeah. He was a character and he always had time for the fans. He was a regular at conventions. I was going to say, he struck me as the type who would always be at those sort of... Um, yeah, yeah, and all over the world, everybody wanted a piece of Darth Vader. He was a key character and he was the man who played it first, you mm. know, so there's always... And since he's passed away, there's a massive demand. I mean, the price of his autograph has probably trebled since he's passed away. You so know? why are we doing it $179.99? Well, then? yeah, because <laughs> he was always very... To be honest, he did lots of signs and he yeah. went to lots of conventions mm. so he was very available but of course uh, when he you know once he passed away you get all these secondary people mm. and anyone who's into a cult movie always wants the first of everything so because he was the first ever Darth Vader it's like the first Batman they all want the first one mm. he was the first one and he'll be always be the one that most people associate and say he was the original Darth Vader and it's hand signed so it's a great price it's it, we own very few left of these yeah. and once they're gone obviously they can't be replaced Pretty much everything on the show tonight, um, bar three items, you, you let, we've got less than five of everything. Um, so you, you're going to have to be quick tonight. Uh, it's a really, really super show. That's a great image, isn't it? Beautifully mm. framed. Fantastic that you've got David, uh, Dave Price's signature there too. Uh, 453 584 is the uh, is the price. But listen, you can get that extra 10% off, saving yourself nine another £18 by using the code SEPTEMBER. And of course, use ClearPay as well. So really helping you out tonight to pick up the, these um, amazing pieces of memorabilia at cracking prices. Another premiere for you here. I did promise you the first few items on the show uh, would all be first, and this Man. is exceptional. Uh, if you're a big fan of your uh, your action movies, then this is a guy's um, signature that you will want in your collection. Um, sadly, um, not uh, not great with the um, health at the moment, um, Bruce Willis, but I mean, one of the originals. I, I look at the likes of him and Stallone and then Schwarzenegger as one of the, yeah. the original action heroes that's he? right he's, he's hugely popular and massive he's actually normally one of the most expensive signatures in the current tv film world mm. and he's a very difficult signature to get and it i've done lots of i've seen recently in fact the last bruce willis auction or where i did something in an auction with bruce was two, a couple of years ago the item went for over 700 pounds wow okay they they say you can i could tell you where and when his signature is normally a lot more expensive and now he's obviously not too well and not doing he's not around so much mm. that'll undoubtedly go up in value obviously i can't guarantee that don't buy it for that buy it because you love it but that is very rare, it's very underpriced. Have a little Google and look around. And the reason we're offering it at that price, because it's one of these that came from a, a special collector who we're helping them, they're, you know, they're downsizing or of an age, they need to get rid of some of the items, but they wanted them to go to good homes in effect. So they've offered them at very fair prices, so we've passed the savings to you. And of course it's, um, you know, hand-signed magazine page. If it was a photo, it'd probably be another £200 on top. Oh, because okay. it's a magazine page, someone, people aren't kidding. I think it's great. You know, it's a I lovely it's image of it. nicer in a way when yeah, you get, I do. get it signed on like a newspaper yeah, or a magazine. it makes it real, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a great image of him and it's personally signed by the man himself. And remember, all the items in this show come with impeccable provenance. You'll get your certificate of authenticity with a, which comes from one of the leading uh, autograph trade associations in the world yeah. <clears throat> and you keep the paperwork, it's got a lifetime guarantee. So basically you know these are real. That is the key thing. None of them are printed, none of them are facsimiles, none of them are auto pens. We guarantee that these items are hand signed. 
I like that as well because obviously you can kind of almost well Bruce Willis Die Hard three, so you're going back to what ninety five, ninety six, maybe a little bit earlier actually. But I think it looks great. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. That cover of Empire, um, and again, if you want that, you will have to snap it up quickly because there is only one. Uh, Two hundred and seventy nine pounds ninety nine, uh, sixteen by twelve. That mounted magazine page display uh, with some bonus Pamela Anderson there as well. Four three eight one five two. Do with that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant the magazine. You're getting an extra. Oh, sorry. Is that, is that what, what it is? I have no idea. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you could save £28 there or thereabouts. So like, use that code SEPTEMBER and you'll get an extra 10% off if you fancy picking up the uh, Bruce Willis uh, signed Empire uh, magazine today. Now, next up is a TV show that I must watch because everybody talks about this show. I've still not yet got round to watch it. But um, this has got a huge, huge following. Um, uh, Stranger Things, isn't it? Very, very popular. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm also... I haven't watched it. I, I know my other half has, but it's... I saw that hand, it put me off a bit, but I'm a bit of a wimp with things like that, you know. <laughs> Might give me nightmares, you know. But it's 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 great. It's framed and mounted, ready to just hang on your wall. It's Again, it's a replica image from the shows, recreated on a photograph, you know, a photographic print, framed up, ready to hang on your wall. It's a great price. Mm. Someone's going to snap that up, and I believe there's just the one left, isn't there? Uh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just that so one Once there. it's gone, it's gone. But if you know somebody who loves the series, do have a think about that because uh, if you're not quick, you will probably most certainly miss out. Yeah, and it's nice again, isn't it? We always talk about something for every budget. If you're looking to start off a collection, um, I think I said to you before, I used to know a, a, a guy um, who, when movies used to come to an end at the cinema, he used mm. to then go into the cinema and ask oh, if yeah. he could have like the original poster and he collected mm. those so it is a great way isn't it to kind of get into collecting tv and film memorabilia oh, at, yeah. at a smaller price yeah it is and they and and they become very very popular i mean there's been several sales you know the prop store did one not too long ago on, on purely on posters and uh, again you know the um i think it was bonhams have done them there's it's a big big market film posters huge mm. you know uh, 39.99 for this one is Stranger Things, that 16 by 12 frame series mini poster. £10 on your uh, clear pays. Of course, it would be less than that because you can still use that code. So save yourself another, what, £4 pretty much. Um, so you're going to be out that. It's going to be £9. I would have done that on my own, thank you very much. <laughs> In the gallery. I, I thought I'd work that one out by myself. Uh, 402631. It's like the director when he's telling us off. He's the one in the red, by the way. You know. <laughs> A lovely director, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 402631 is your item number if you want to pick that one up. Uh, right, uh, let's have a look at this next item. Uh, David and Victoria Beckham, uh, we're going to be looking at next. 694158. Oh, this is a little bit different, a little bit romantic. Yeah, it's it's a book. It's called, the, you know, The, the, the Wedding, you yeah. know, the, the Beckham's Wedding. But it's the official photo book that was produced um, in conjunction with OK Magazine. Official book. But this is really special. And I actually, my, my uh, invite apparently went mi missing in the post. Oh, did it? Yeah, she, Can't told, believe she that. told me. Sorry, guys, it must have gone missing. We cancelled it. Yeah. If you believe that, you believe anything. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, a, it's a whole book. It's, we might want to flick through. It's got lovely photographs and everything. But the most important thing, as you can see there, you're looking at it, hand signed by David Beckham and by Victoria. And I mean, David Beckham's signature these days goes for a couple of hundred pounds on its own. So you know, why, so generally, got, well, because we've got it at a reasonable price. I'm saying if it was on a photograph of him ah. in kit or on a on a shirt, you know, and you've got a full signature there. That it's very mm. unusual these days for David Beckham to do a full signature like that. It's often, you know, because this was done, I guess, for the magazine, and you've got a full signature. That's the signature you'd normally use on a on a on a sort of a charity item, you know. But it's a lovely book. It measures them through their lives, how they got together, bringing you up to the web wedding day itself but if you're a fan of the Becks <laughs> remember the curtains that's back when in the he, day. remember when he got that goal from the halfway line the famous oh, one against yeah. Crystal Palace yeah. that's when he had his hair like that you know he looked wow. about 11 yeah. there's Victoria <laughs> and there's Victoria look. yeah oh dear so it's a great book. You just measure through that. It's brilliant, isn't it? Look, Absolutely. Really so, is. And, ha so it's ha and they're not printed. They're hand-signed. Oh, look at the glasses by there. By both David Beckham and by Victoria. Yeah. 
It's brilliant, isn't it? So you've got kind of, like you say, a bit of an insight into their, um, their home life, his career, her career. Not, yeah. many, not many guests at the wedding. <laughs> no, they, yeah. Because they didn't send the <laughs> yeah. invites out. Yeah, they didn't send them out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was, yeah, I know, it's, uh, it's a great piece. And as I say, it was uh, originally the wedding photos were all in OK, because at the magazine, this was, at the time, it was massive, their wedding, wasn't it? Mm. Huge. Absolutely huge. Wow. I remember I met them a couple of times in the... Uh, not I didn't know them. No. I bumped into them in the Midland Hotel in Manchester where a lot of the Manchester United players and celebrities used to go there. And I used to, there still is a very, very good French restaurant. I expect a glass of Plonk if I go in there next time, giving them a plug. But they were there, they used to go there to eat. And they were always very pleasant and very nice, you know. I remember they both sent pictures to my kids. My daughter wanted the Spice Girls and my son wanted David Beckham and they both sent them. Oh. So Aww. I admire them for that. But it is something very unusual, but grab it quick. I think we've only got one left of that as well. That is correct. What a lovely, lovely piece that is. Um, something mm. a little bit different for you. Um, David and Victoria Beckham's wedding photo book, personally signed by both of them, which is incredible when you consider that you can pick this up for £159.99 mm. for clear pay payments of £40 plus your postage. But once again, you can save yourself £16 if you use that code. September before the 23rd of September, uh, 694158 is your item number. All right, next up, something really exciting if you're a Liverpool fan, going to take you back to, uh, well, what was probably one of the, the biggest matches ever. And a goalkeeper that um, I certainly remember, just for the fact, um, I, I don't know whether it was just in that penalty shootout or just generally, they used to say you used to, you did, they did a funny dance move, didn't they, on the line to put yeah. the penalty taker off. Yeah. Do the do deck, they used to say. <laughs> yeah, do the do he used to deck, wiggle yeah. around, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, he did, yeah. <laughs> And it, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was true. But yeah, he um, he was the goalkeeper in two thousand and five when Liverpool, you know, when they were what, three nil down, three nil down time? to AC Milan, weren't yeah, they? in in Istanbul, wasn't it the final? Mm. And then uh, like, allegedly Steven Gerrard tore into them at half time. And as you said earlier, there was rumours, wasn't there, that, that they Milan was, were like popping the champagne and celebrating, and the Liverpool players heard it. You know, because it was Nothing like down. a stimulant, is there like no, that? that's it. If you play rugby, if you say the opposition think they're going to win 50 nil, just go out there and have fun. Yeah. The boys jump, don't they? Yeah. Or the girls or wherever they are. But yeah, so it, he did, he motivated them. They ended up as three each, didn't it? Three yeah. all. And then they won on. And then they had the penalties. And in the penalty shootout, I believe he saved two penalties, didn't he? Do I they? think yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, so he, they always say that the three key players in that game, I think it was Alonso who got the first goal. Gerard got the equaliser, yeah, didn't Ger he? Or the second Gerard got one. the second. Yeah. And then, and of course, this guy who Save two penalties in the shootout. So really influential in Liverpool's win in 2005. We've only got the one left of them, but this is a replica goalkeeper shirt, hand signed by the man himself. And that's why, again, I think that's brilliantly priced because you always talk about, I know you talk about like firsts and, and lasts, but th this again is a, a moment, isn't it? A moment in time, which all yeah, Liverpool very fans significant will moment. Yeah, that's I mean. yeah, that's right. Yeah, it is. So it's something very special, and uh, um, and very, you know, very very collectible. Mm. Um, <coughs> there's just one. Okay, so if you want to grab this, uh, you're going to have to go quickly. 129.99 jersey do deck, the uh, European Cup 2005 uh, winner, personally signed. Uh, it's, a, it's a personally signed jersey by jersey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <Ooh. laughs> yeah. Boom, boom. £32.50 yeah. is your first clear pay payment of four. Uh, but remember, again, you can use your um, code of September to get an extra £13 pretty much off that price on screen. 296.659 uh, for jersey do deck. So he yeah, as he's dancing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from a goalkeeper to a striker, um, and wow, one of, one of the very best um, English strikers I think that, that there's ever been, isn't it, Alan Shearer? Without a doubt, yeah, without a doubt. And it's a great image of him. This comes already framed and mounted. It's a big piece, of 16 by 12 in total size, but it comes with it already framed. Great photographic montage there of him in his Newcastle kit. And again, hand signed by the man himself. But yeah, one of Britain's greatest strikers ever. And obviously a lot of the youngster people now know him for his work on the match of the day and things, mm -hmm. you know. But he's uh, up in the northeast and even throughout you know, throughout the world, really, he's respected as one of the greatest strikers we ever had. You yeah. Know? And he sort of resisted temptation, didn't he? Because I, I remember he started off at Southampton, didn't he? Then he was at Newcastle. And there was always um, 
chaps yeah. about Ferguson Did trying to sign him. Did he go somewhere him. else in between? Was he at Blackburn? He was at Blackburn Road. Yeah, that's yeah, right. right. But um, it, he was there when they won the league. When they won the league, yeah, yeah, it's him and South Chris Newcastle. Sutton, wasn't it? That's then right. Then he went to Newcastle. Yeah. Um, but I always remember like Manchester United always trying to sign him, and he, yeah. he, he was always kind of quite faithful to Newcastle in the end, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was and a great striker. He really was. I mean, he obviously loves Newcastle. You tell when he talks about him, the mm. passion and that that comes out. But uh, yeah, great, great striker and a wonderful image for if you're building a collection yeah. look at that it's stunning and that is a piece of art it's ready to just hang on the wall that's it and only um, just a couple of those available again for any serious football collector whether 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 it, whether it is newcastle or indeed uh, england of course as well that is a signature you definitely want to have in your set uh, 299410 is the open number 169.99 that's the price you can save pretty much 17 pounds if you use that code tonight though september is the code um, and you've got those four clear pay payments so just 42 pounds 50 i think we're doing some brilliantly priced items tonight uh, mm. and then they get even more brilliantly priced for you when you use that that code as well to get an extra yeah i don't mean they code for code you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, the code by the way you can use on the show but you can also use over on the website as well collectiblesguru.com and here's some more information about said site Welcome to CollectiblesGuru.com, your trusted source for genuine collectibles and memorabilia. Here you can shop by category to browse hundreds of items from the world of sport, TV and film, music, heritage and our selection of gift ideas. If you're looking for something more specific, why not browse our most popular subcategories including boxing, football, Hollywood greats, royalty and Star Wars. Or if you've seen something you like on TV, just search the item number here to find out more details and to add to your basket. Plus, when you shop online, you have the option to spread the cost of your order with four interest-free installments when you select the ClearPay option at the checkout. Now, if you want to find out why you can trust Collectibles Guru, then read our authenticity guarantee, including Gaza's top tips for when it comes to buying items of memorabilia. And if you've missed any of our fabulous shows, just click the TV catch-up page and you can watch us on demand. So log on to collectiblesguru.com, where the world of collectibles and memorabilia is only a click away. There we go, all the details you need of the website collectibles, collectiblesguru.com. Right, let us go next off to the world of uh, boxing, 248198 for this next item. Uh, Tony Ballou. Yeah, great. He was a great, really great boxer. He, you know, he had some hard fights, but he was a toughie. I always remember, though, the passion. He was also a big Everton fan. Oh, yeah. And he had one of his, I think it was his World Championship fight at uh, Goodison Park. Oh, did he? And, yeah, and it was like, for him, it was like, wonderful. I think he, sadly, I think he might have lost that one, actually. I'm just trying to think. But he, uh, I'm not sure if he lost. If I'm wrong, I do apologise. But he's a great boxer and a real a real character you know you could tell he went in that ring and he went in there to give it his all there was rumors he was coming out of retirement but he's been off for a while and it, i always think it's a bit sad if they come back after a break yeah it's a bop no it's a, i don't mean I'm sad in being rude <laughs> but i mean it's it's sad because you, you want you think you know what they achieved yeah. and often if they come, come back, back it's never after good, a couple of years break it's you know, it's hard to rewind the body back to that, you know. Yeah. But he's a great fighter, hand signed a special conven uh, convention and everything. So it's a, great, it's a wonderful image of him. Look, you can see the passion he has just in winning that belt. There it is. So, yeah. again, if you're building a boxing collection, you've got to have a think about this. Big piece as well, 16 by 12 in size. So, and it's a standard size for a frame, so you can buy a frame very easily for that size. And I think also worth bearing in mind, I mean, that is a great price, great starting point maybe if you are looking at starting a boxing collection but I always think it's good to mention at this point we've got um, a nice selection of other boxers I think we do boxing oh, yeah, very loads. well on this show yeah don't we? we've got a lot of boxing so yeah do check that website regularly www.collectiblesguru.com because there's lots of different boxing items from all genres of ages as well we've got shorts you've got, <laughs> you know you've got belts you've got not belts you've got like robes, robes. you've got shorts you've got photos gloves you know I've just noticed on that signature as well, he's obviously signed it across Excuse his me. midriff and underneath C-O-Y-B. Come on, you blues. There you go, Pro proving, oh, yeah. his, uh, proving his Everton, yeah, love for right. Everton. Oh, that's brilliant, that. Yeah. Really, really, really nice. Something a little bit different, perhaps, as it well. It is, that. yeah. <coughs> uh, Sorry. That's right. 248198 is your item number.
for the Tony Ballou personally signed 16 by 12 colour photo, £89.99, £22.50 today plus your postage if you're using that four way clear pay. But of course, you can get another £9 off if you use that code. September is available for you on this show. We'll get you an extra 10% off whatever you buy up until the 23rd of September. And of course, you can use it across the website too. Right, next up, back to uh, the uh, cricket, of course. Um, again, we've got so many brilliant items for you when it comes to uh, cricket. And if you're a big fan of the England team, this is certainly a, a gentleman you want to have in your collection. Stokesy. Yeah, he's a great player, isn't he? I mm. mean, he, you know, the Ashes, you know, back summer was sad, wasn't it, really? Should have won. Should have won or could have won. Could have won. Should have won. The weather wasn't kind. No, it wasn't. This guy, is, you know, he's, he's a great <coughs> player, isn't he? And I imagine he's a great motivator because he, he always comes across as someone's got an immense bite and power and desire yeah. to win, you know. Never, never knows when he's beaten, which he's is sort what of you want. This generation's think you've li likened him before to the likes of, of Botham and Flintoff. He's this, this sort of generation's Botham, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he is really, because he always seems that he gives everything. He, he comes out and plays with the passion that you know some of the maybe the Australians and the you know the sort of people like that, the New Zealanders, mm. when they play sport, they really mean it. You know, and we sometimes as British, I'm not sure it's fair, but they accuse us of being a bit more wishy-washy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. This guy certainly ain't wishy-washy. You know. He goes out there and he's got that willow in his hand and he batters it, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Whether he's bowling, fielding, whatever he is, he goes out there to win. And he's a great motivator for the British team, I would think, you know, for the England team. Yeah. And uh, if you're a cricket fan, what a great item to have. Yeah, and the, the pictures there, of course, when England won the um, uh, the One Day World Cup, wasn't it, as well? Yeah. So uh, loads of great images there, and he was kind of uh, very instrumental in that. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great piece. And like you said, I always look at this, because obviously I'm still playing cricket, but great items to potentially potentially a club together and buy for the cricket club yeah for, for a club or for a special function yeah. or something because they these are sort of items you know when people have had a couple of drinks and they're there to raise money these items fly they really do because you know they're they're heroes of the sport mm. you know so don't miss out on them and again we only have a couple of those i believe yeah certainly do if you want to uh, jump in and grab that 210658 i think already nicely priced at 239.99 but if you use that code September that is uh, nigh on 24 pounds coming off that price tag for you and then you'll have to adjust your clear pay price accordingly but uh, if you split that four ways it's 60 pounds is all you'll pay today plus your postage uh, item number is 210658 all right, uh, next up, going back a, a little bit in time, and you did say you'd have to explain this one. You have to explain this to me. Yeah, this you is might a... want to pick that up in a minute. We'll explain right. first of all. Chris Finnegan. Basically what it is, it's a, a first day cover that was produced for the Olympic Games. Mm. It was, it was produced, these stamps, it was produced for Wembley, but then you've got the Atlanta stamps where it was actually re-stamped. Re, re so you got a stamp from the Atlantic Games and a stamp from Wembley. Okay. Now, Chris Finnegan was a boxer who won a medal for the British team <clears throat> and he won a gold medal. So you've actually got a replica Olympic gold medal there. Oh, that is actually okay. a proper minted gold medal. At the side is a, is a silk image of him, Chris Finnegan, celebrating his medal. So he won a gold medal for England at boxing in the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the, uh, the actual Olympic Games medal, if you, do you want to pick that up briefly? Is that all right we pick that up? Yeah. If you turn it around, you'll see on the back, it has the history of the Olympic Games, and there you see the other side of the medal. And what they've done, <clears throat> they've put the wet, the stamp there is the stamp from what the year when he won it uh, before. Okay. So you've got an actual genuine postage stamp there from when he won the medal. Yeah. And on the front, you've got the other postage stamps when they were produced by Britain and an American postage stamp. Just brings it all together. But it's a wonderful philatelic unique, item. Isn't it? But as an Olympic Games item, it's great. There's a lot of Olympic Games collectors. And that is hand signed by Chris Finnegan himself. Oh, who yes. was a great at the top. Yeah. I'll turn it back. <clears throat> it's, um, if you want to turn it around briefly, cheers. You'll see at the top, there's his signature again where he signed it yeah. by your finger. 
They're just there. So it's a wonderful item, and I think the fact it's a replica, you know, medal from an Olympics, it's a real piece of history. And again, just a couple left. Very, very, very rare now. I haven't seen one for years, but we just thought it's something different that you might like. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, first time we've seen it, and like you said, there's actually only one of these now available. So if you mm. want to pick that one up, uh, Chris Finnegan, personally signed Olympic Games commemorative cover uh, with the replica gold medal as well. £44.99. Um, less £4.50 if you're uh, using that code today, September. Uh, get your 10% off. The clear pay payments are 11 dollars five plus your postage now just to prove that we do uh, boxing very well here on collectibles guru let's have a look at this next item uh, which is a personally signed boxing glove by uh, anthony joshua yeah and he sort of seems to be going back where he was you know world champion it went a little bit wrong a couple of losses to Usyk. <clears throat> but now looks like he might be turning the throw again. I mean, I think most British people still hope that someday we'll see him in the ring with Tyson Fury. Yeah. Two great British fighters, you know. But he won the Olympic medal as well as a heavyweight. And uh, again, always comes across as a really nice guy. The thing I like about him as well, uh, at the end of every fight, you see him in the arena having his selfies done and singing and chatting with in fact both of them are good for that mm. they mingle well with their fans a bit, you know? like, a bit like you isn't it oh yeah, yeah. You, mean, you mingle well what with you your mean fans. next door's dog yeah <laughs> my, my mate that is yeah but it is you know and i think that's great they they've got time for their fans yeah you pay the you know the tickets to go to these events and and both of them sign um like anthony joshua signs it's one of only three sources allegedly that he now signs for which is the company that uh, tyson fury is associated with who are without doubt the number one for boxing in europe and possibly the world they're mm. one of the biggest now so he signs for them as well as a private signing you know and again can't go wrong this has proven really popular in the past and i think again now if you're building a collection you've got have AJ in it, haven't you? Absolutely. 276761. And if um, yeah, you look back on previous shows, you know, we've featured the likes of uh, Usyk and Fury, of course, and uh, you know, the likes of Bruno and Tyson and Ben. Head to the website, you'll find loads more boxing memorabilia for you. And of course, if you are a boxing fanatic, now is the time to head to the website because you've got the code as well, you see. Uh, thank you very much indeed. 276761. Is I can hear I can hear him grimacing. I can hear him yeah. grimacing over there. He's like, stop mentioning the code. Yeah, um, you got to spell it right, remember, September. Yeah, how do you, how do you spell it again? <laughs> no, I'll be telling you. S-E-P-P-T-E-E-M-B-B-E-E-R. <laughs> Uh, it's on your screen for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're moving to football next, and uh, this chap again is another one. Actually, the final of our uh, nine premieres on the um, on the show, and again, well, one of the greatest, really, certainly of his time in Dem for Brazil as well, Ronaldinho. Yeah, a great player, really sought after signature, very rare. You don't see him around much now, so he's one of the legends of the last sort of decade, really, and uh, he's, he's been retired now a while. But he was a great player for for Brazil, and of course also. For for, for uh, Barcelona there. Mm. A great image of him there in the uh, in the kit. I mean, joking earlier, you know, he scored that an amazing goal against England from about the, well, seemed a long way out when, yeah, he, unfortunately, he, David Seaman missed the flight. And he that's went it, he was on the edge of his, his area, head. wasn't he? Didn't he? he yeah. yeah. Yeah, Flapping, way out. Yeah, but he was a great player. Apart from that, all that nonsense. But he was an amazing player, really talented. One of Brazil's best ever. Mm. He's classed as one of Brazil's best ever footballers, and that is some honour. Yeah, I think he came in the top dozen ever voted by the fans. Wow, so, really? Yeah, he's a great, great player. Really talented. Never had it before. Probably never have it again. We only have a couple. Where would you go to get it? I wouldn't know. No. You know, he's out of the game. He's not involved anymore. He's retired. So get yourself a piece of really football in history. And again, I think already before that discount tonight, that we've done some great prices tonight. One hundred and eighty nine mm. ninety nine. Really passing on the savings for us tonight. That's right. I mean, you, where would you? You know, where would you go to yeah. get it? Even you know. <clears throat> Even if it was six, seven hundred and eighty nine, you still wouldn't know where to get it. I wouldn't know where to get it mm. normally, you know. Mm. So it's just that we were lucky to get it, you know, a couple from a collection, one of these collections, and that's we've passed it on to you, you know. But once they're gone, never see it again. Mm. There is, in fact, only one. 
There is um, one now. There is yeah. one now, yeah. Two, uh, as I say, pretty much across this show, apart from just a handful of items, everything is um, either sort of single stop. figures, one, two or three. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to be quick. It's like um, Gaza says, you know, we've got a lot of people watching these shows now. People are tuning in, people are seeing the bargains there, and they know that they've got to be in quick. If they see something they like, um, things have disappeared quickly. So that's the way to do it. If you see something you like, get in quickly. 249835 uh, for Ronaldinho in his uh, Barcelona kit, personally signed for 189.99. Again, make sure you use that code and save yourself nine on 19 pounds off that price on the screen. 249835. Uh, next up, uh, always very popular, and we've uh, featured Henry Cooper items before. And this one's this item's particularly special, isn't it? <coughs> well, it is. It's when he fought Muhammad Ali, who was actually Cassius Clay then at Wembley. And um, after he'd won the gold medal and, you know, he was like King P and he was fighting well. And Henry was the first player to put, or the first boxer, I should mm. say, to put him down. And he, he, he was saved by the bell, really, because he, you know, uh, uh, unfortunately, there always a lot of, uh, you know, comments about this and criticism that the rumours are that, that Cassius Clay was out still. Oh, and okay. so the bell went. And they, you know, he was saved by the bell at the end of the round. And then they discovered he had a little nick in his glove, you know, uh, very conveniently had a nick in his glove. So they had to unwrap the glove and do it, which meant he had a lot more time between the rounds. To recover. To give him time to recover. Mm. They reckon, yeah, you've got to be careful. It's only an alleged thing, but, you know, that's what the alleged was, that he had a split and he, he made it bigger to take longer to recover but it's a it's a piece of boxing history our henry certainly did out of land the hammer unfortunately his eyes cut a lot which probably prevented him becoming world champion but he was a great fighter big art mm. and a tremendous advocate for british charity especially for the water rats yeah he was amazing and that's his hand signed signature and what even more is special because he signed it sir henry uh, okay. cooper that makes it more desirable for a collector because he didn't do that very often yeah. Very humble guy. Yeah, I mean, I think if I was a sir, and I'll, I'll be signing everything, sir, definitely. Um, I've but... signed it the years, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> sir Gazza of the Ashburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord Ashburn, I am. Yeah. It's interesting <laughs> to hear that, that you say that, though. So the fact that you know, sometimes he just obviously signed Henry Cooper, and other times, so the sir does really make a difference. Well, it's just because they don't do it for very yeah. often. You know, normal wisdom would never do it. You'd have to, you know, say if you'd give, I put a fiver in the charity or a tenner in the charity, and he might do it. Well, then. he wouldn't sign. Sir. He wouldn't sign, sir, no. Because mm. the first time, anyway, it's going off the point, but I'm just saying it is unusual yeah. for them not to put the sir on. And Henry Cooper was the same, very humble man. He didn't do things like that. So mm. that actually adds to the twist and the desire for that because it makes it that little bit more different, mm. that little bit more desirable. Certainly one again to consider if you are a uh, boxing fan. Lots of great boxing items on the show tonight, as we, we usually do have. But that one is item number 242592. Sir Henry Cooper personally signed that 20 by 16 framed photo montage and signature display. 27999. Take pretty much £28 off that if you use that code SEPTEMBER. You get 10% off up until the 23rd of September. And you've got your four clear pay payments as well of just uh, 70 pounds. Next up is uh, an Arsenal legend. Um, yeah. Things have been picking up again recently for the uh, for the Gunners. Um, I suppose they'll be keeping their fingers crossed for another good season. But uh, this man scored uh, well a, a ton of goals for him, didn't he? He was in a great player. Again, still much loved by the Arsenal fans. People like him, Ian Wright, you know, Dave, Dennis Bergkamp. Okay, yeah, they're all still. As, as popular almost as the current team, you know, he he's huge. Obviously, he was France captain as well. You know, I remember there was root when he scored a goal with his um, hand, maybe didn't he? Uh, uh, bit oh, like, yeah. Bit like a famous Argentinian. I remember but that, even yeah. forget all that rubbish. He was a great, great player. Wonderful servant. Much loved in the English game. Again, always apparently very humble. Never met him. I've been told he's a very humble man. Very mm. nice. Plenty of time for the fans. But if you're a goner or a goner... <laughs> a goner? <laughs> yeah, a goner, yeah. But no, if you're, if you're a Gunners fan, yeah. you've got to think about this guy. Again, it's beautifully mounted, ready to just slide in a frame. Standard size 16 by 12. You've got the, the mount at the top there of him celebrating a goal and the genuine hand-signed signature. Yeah. But it's very easy to buy a 16 by 12 frame. It's standard size. 
I think that's nice again, isn't it? Because I know um, you know Arsenal have had a bit more success recently, but mm. sort of seeing that image of him there takes me back to the time when Arsenal were there or thereabouts. It was sort of them and Man United, wasn't it? Always yeah, sort of they were always there or thereabouts, and they obviously had a very good season, you know, last year. Mm. But um, yeah, he he's a star man and, and very very popular, and again very hard to get now. Mm. Um, and again, if you want to pick this up this evening, only just a few of these uh, available. Again, just uh, well, literally three is all we've got left currently. There's that. Mm signature and a really great um, image as well like Gaza says 16 by 12 pretty pretty much a standard size so you can mm. um, pick up a frame for that uh, very easily 174.99 take off uh, 17 pounds 50 pretty much if you use that code September um, and that uh, clear pay payment comes down for you as well from uh, 43 pounds 75 that'll be your first payment of four plus your postage and packaging 251803 for that uh, amazing item signed personally by Thierry Henry. Two items left to squeeze into the last sort of five minutes or so and uh, we go back a little bit further in time for um, this next item. Manchester United fans, one of the greatest ever probably this chap. Without doubt, obviously a, a member of the England 1966 match winning team when England won the World Cup for first and only time so far. Mm. He was one of the major parts, a great player, would score goals from a long way out regularly, you know, and he was a great, great. When he hit the ball, he normally broke the net, you know, <laughs> he was really powerful. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And his brother, of course, Jack Charlton, mm. was the centre half, as it was in them days, number five. And Bobby Charlton, I think he was number nine, wasn't he, mostly? I think so, but yeah. But he was the, you know, he wasn't traditional centre forward you get now. But he was a great player and a wonderful leader. And Creed, I mean, Pele described him as one of the greatest players oh, in the he? world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was an amazing player. Amazing player. And what you've got is a lovely image of him there at the top. And then underneath, you've got his genuine hand-signed signature. And again, double-mounted. The total size is 12 by 10. But it's double-mounted and beautifully put together. Put that in a frame, it'll look great. Yeah. <clears throat> and Bobby Charlton is always really sought after. And dare I say, sadly, is one of the very few last left of the England yeah. 66 players that are still with us. Mm. So very hard to get. Grab that while you can. Yeah, yeah. I think as well for any Manchester United fans, there's um, so many different <coughs> items that we've got over on the website. And I can think on you know recent shows we've featured the likes of you know up to date players like um, Marcus Rashford. We've featured you know um, Samat Busby, uh, Georgie Best, um, yeah. Sir Alex Ferguson. There's a, Fernandez, there's a, Fernandez like currently, and there's Casemiro. a real mixture, isn't there? Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. You know, it might even be a bit of George Best if you're quick, but mm. yeah. There is a good mix. Manchester United have always been, in my opinion, I think they're the biggest club in the world. Oh, they always yeah. have been. Yeah. You know, they've got like uh, fan, fan base shops in America, in Japan, in Australia, you know, all, uh, all in the Far East. They are huge. They are a massive, massive business. So anything to do with Man U always just flies out the door, you know. Um, if you want to uh, grab this again, just a handful of these available for you tonight. Uh, 263960 is your item number. That is Sir Bobby Charlton, personally signed uh, by Bobby, 12 by 10, that mounted colour photo, uh, £189.99, or your four clear pay payments of 47.50 and use the code SEPTEMBER and that will bring that price down even further for you. Just kind of helping you pick these uh, items up if you're looking to buy something for a special occasion or if you're planning, you know, birthday or Christmas. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for you to pick up all of these deals. Uh, and the last item to bring you uh, this evening is uh, Ozzy Ardiles, who I think um, a lot of people um, will remember for the time that he spent at Spurs, but yeah. he obviously played, played a lot for Argentina. Yeah, Argentinian player, great player, and it was a terrific player. Wasn't it? Him and Ricky Vill Villar, wasn't Ricky it? Villa, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tottenham, they were like, yeah, they almost won the cup final on their own. Remember that famous goal? Yeah, you're that old, you remember it? Ricky Villa scored it. But Ozzy Ardi was a great servant to Tottenham, and stayed on. Still, as far as I'm aware, still lives in England. Oh, does he? He's, yeah, I believe so. He went to he manager afterwards. He was manager of Swindon, Swindon for Town. a while. Yeah, I think he? you're right. Yeah. 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 And um, then he was in the movie, of course, the... Uh, oh, um, Escape with, to Victory. Yeah, with Michael Caine and, and Pele. And Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. 
he was in Bobby that. Moore was in that as Bo- well, wasn't Bobby he? Bobby Moore, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were all in it. Um, so yeah, it was it was a great item. But he he he's always really popular. We only have a few of these. This was a private signing done not too long ago. But he still crops up around occasionally. Does some charity golf appearances and some of the football stuff. But he was very good and very paramount around that sort of seventies uh, and eighties. Well, eighties more wasn't it? I suppose early nineties. Mm. Great great play, really is. And the hand signed by the man himself. Can I just say as well? I think that's one of the biggest. Six Signatures I've ever seen. He's, yeah, he's got the town I'm, on that. Hasn't yeah, he? that's right. Yeah, it is. It is a, a big signature. That. Yeah, look at it. Signed by the man himself. Absolutely, he really is brilliant. Yeah. So for any uh, any Spurs fan, any um, you know, any, any serious football collector, he's another uh, another big name. We're just trying to work out what he's written under, underneath there as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought originally that. It was signed just by him. Mm. We're going to have to do some homework on that, I think, because I don't know what that means. I think it's a word, but we'll have to have a look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, nothing like being well informed. <laughs> but I was, you know, I was, it's the first time I've seen it tonight, and it's 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 signed by Ozzy Ardiles, and, uh, but it, I'm not sure who, what the other word is. We'll have to do some homework. We'll do some homework on that one. But it's certainly signed by Ozzy Ardiles. It's an Argentinian shirt. The guys loved and uh, admired at Tottenham and right across the game, really, you know. Yeah. And obviously, that, that's going to be a great seller. And v- very rare. I've never seen his signature, funny enough, on an Argentinian shirt. I've only seen it on the Tottenham shirt. Well, you have now. Yeah. Uh, 214074 is the item number. Ozzy Ardiles personally signed Argentina football shirt. Uh, £229.99. £57.50 is your first payment of four for ClearPay, but use that code. September is the code that you need if you want to get an extra 10% off. Only, though, until the 23rd of September, so uh, you can use it as well across the website. And it's worth mentioning as well, isn't it, before we go, the website, jam-packed full of other goodies. There's loads on there. Whatever you're into, football, boxing, you know, TV, film, music, even sort of... Aviation, royalty and history, there's loads there. Do keep checking it regularly, it's constantly changing. Yeah, and lots of kind of um, specialist areas as well. You know, if you like mm. James Bond, there's a section there. Wrestling, there's a section. It is all there. And a um, bit of a heads up for next week's show as well, where we're going to be focusing on cult TV and film. Yeah. Uh, so look out for that. Thank you, mate. Good yeah, good again. to see you. Yeah, good to see you. See you again soon, eh? Remember, keep checking that website. There's loads on it. Keep changing. That's it. See you soon. Bye-bye. You've been watching a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru.